This is nice. So many levels. Wow. Hey, it's Shelly Wellness here. Welcome to The Mindful Plate. Today we are going to be making a delicious, savory, sweet peach chutney. Now it's summertime where I am right now, but even if it's not summertime where you are or when you watch this video, you can sub with frozen peaches, but fresh is best. Now we're gonna be serving this peach chutney with cheese and crackers. So if you love a good cheese and cracker or a charcuterie board, this will add lots of good sweetness and savory hints to that. But also if you are a meat eater and you like things like pork or roasted leg of lamb, this peach chutney can pair with that. I used to eat it that way when I was eating Eating meat. But now that I'm more plant-based, I definitely love to eat this with cheese and crackers, and I'm gonna show you all how to make it. It's very easy. Let's get into the recipe. Hey, I'm your host, Shelly Wellness. I'm on this journey to elevate our consciousness around food, and I invite you to join me. On this channel, I'll share recipes created with mindfulness rooted in wellness. Welcome to the Mindful Plate. So you just wanna give your peaches a rough chop. You're not trying to get it perfect because it's gonna condense down when you put it in the pot. But what you're looking for is any pieces that are starting to get to turn, they're kind of overripe because you don't wanna add these to the chutney. Now the chutney is almost like a very chunky jam and it's more savory and sweet in flavor. So if you add pieces that are starting to spoil to your chutney, then your chutney might spoil a lot closer. So keep the pieces that you actually put in the pot as fresh as possible. Ooh, like that, I can feel it. That right there, you feel that? Just bruise. We're gonna cut that right off, we don't want it. So now I'm gonna add these peaches to the pot and then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients as well. Next, we're gonna add our onions. I'm using red onion because I think it has like a, a, a pungent, but also kind of sweet and distinctive flavor. You can use whatever onion you want. When it comes to chutneys, you wanna think about that end result. So if you like the taste of the onion when it's cooked, then use that type of onion in your chutney. And then next, I'm gonna add some coconut sugar. And then next, I'm gonna add some red wine vinegar. And next, I'm gonna add the peel of an orange. I'm using orange because I love the flavor of orange zest. You could use lemon zest as well, but we add the peel not just for the flavor, but also because it has pectin in it. Pectin is that gelling agent. So when you're making jam or jelly or chutney and you get that kind of jammy consistency, that's pectin. So instead of using a powdered pectin, it's all right here, packed up in God's good natural resource. You also wanna make sure that you're using organic, all right, because a lot of our produce is treated with chemicals. A lot of it, those chemicals are there to make sure that the produce lasts by the time it's picked from the farmer and it finally gets to you on your table. So when you get organic, you get a smaller chemical load on your food, which means that when you're zesting, because a lot of those chemicals are resting on the outside of the peel, you're not adding extra chemicals into your pot. So make sure you get organic, orange, lemon, whatever you use to zest. So next we're gonna add the flavor portion. We're gonna be adding some cloves, some ginger, and some cinnamon. So now you see it's all boiling. Once it boils like this, you're just gonna turn it low, let it simmer, let it do its magic, 40 minutes, that's it. And when we come back, we will have chutney that we're gonna eat with our vegan cheese and crackers. All right, so it's been 40 minutes and our peach chutney has been cooking. Ooh, look at it. Just a nice stew deliciousness. You see how thick it's gotten? And lots of that help comes from the pectin and the coconut sugar gives us that caramelization that we've been looking for. 
Oh, this is gorgeous. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in a sterilized glass jar. That's what you're gonna store it in. And then we're gonna serve this with some cheese and crackers. All right, friends, wasn't that easy? Let's try it. I'm using Miyoko's vegan cream cheese. If you've ever had her vegan cream cheese, then you know it tastes pretty close to the real thing. I'm very satisfied with it, so let's try. Mmm, wow. Woo! Mmm, wow. <laughs> so many levels. Okay, first, it's like that sweet and that savory, but you remember that ginger I put in there? Wow, that one kind of like hits you right here. Mmm, this is nice. This is a multi-sensory experience. Like if you were into food and cheese and oh, and jams and spreads, this chutney is gonna hit the spot. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know what I like about it? It's not too sweet, but it's fruity. So I don't drink wine, but if you could think about a wine that was full bodied with lots of fruity notes, that's what this has given me. Of course, we also use red wine vinegar in it, so that might be where I was coming from. But either ways, I love this, and I think you will too. All right, you guys, you already know. If you want the full recipe with all the measurements and all the ingredients, then you need to join my newsletter. The link is in the description and I will see you in your inbox. Until next time, friends, eat well and be well.